right, y'all. It's AGP here, and it's Wednesday. So you know it's time for... Okay, now. I made two videos earlier today. If y'all want to go check those out, y'all should definitely go see those. One is about the state of play tomorrow with Ghost of Tsushima, and the other one was about the Inside the Story trailer for The Last of Us Part Two. If y'all are interested in that, go check them out. But I know I'm late with this, but we're going to go ahead and react to this Unreal Engine 5 that's going to be powering the graphics for the PS5. We'll talk after... I don't want to hear it from these PC players. We know y'all had these graphics for about five years now. It doesn't matter. It's still beautiful and we're excited. So let's get into this. Unreal Engine, talk to me. Hello, I'm Brian Karras, Technical Director up, of Graphics here at Epic Games. Up, Hi, I'm Jerome Plateau, Art Director of the Special Project. What's up, Jerome Plateau? Can the brothers and sisters out here just get a design? Oh, what's up? You got a whole gem. Now, I'm not going to lie. I saw part of it. I was, I was waking up, y'all, and I didn't... I saw like the second half, but I don't remember all of it. I saw it for a few minutes and started working on the videos. But as far as this goes, I mean, before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key beautiful. features of this demo. No, we use the cinematic ridiculous. versions, which would typically only be used in film. There are around a million triangles each, and thanks to virtual texturing, Damn. they all use 8K textures as well. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric Super detail small. requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. This is ridiculous. Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely really dynamic. Is. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. You know what's beautiful is the way that they use this demo for this is they use it in the games that I would want to play. This looked like a damn Tomb Raider game. Some great to be additions honest. to our audio system as well. All right. Convolution Reverb so. allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sample, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and play back spatialized audio. So. I'm really, uh, and with no load screens, and it looking like this. adds up to a more this, immersive this, experience. This we, we, we getting into this, this being worth the 470 or whatever it's gonna cost us. <laughs> Again, I know PC players, y'all y'all clown us. I don't blame you. Y'all have had this in, you know, I mean, I love all the systems. This swarm of bats was created with a so Niagara effect system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. Uh, it does. When he said they were using this, the frames that you would, you know, look, use in cinematic, uh, you know, whatever, <laughs> uh, cinematic situations, it really the does. The demo look runs like... on our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately chaos simulate the rigid okay. bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. <laughs> And just so people know, this was a tech demo. It is not an actual game. That's what they told us. Yeah, that's what they were telling us after this. I remember listening to some of what they were saying. It was a tech demo. It's not a game, but damn, that's my stuff. And it. Which I love for this to be a game. is so complex. We've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, Shit. we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the Sounds door. promising. I really just, I really want to know how it feels. Like, we need... Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for Some speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice. Any light Let's source can move while still having paint. beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. That's wild. Is it wrong that I thought of Aladdin? Not only Did reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. I shouldn't. That's one thing. It's because I watched it. First. But, you know, don't judge me. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? Exactly I'm staying this home. statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LOD. For that one structure. 33 million. It was just like... And we can do more than a single statue. 
there are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. 16 billion. Bugging out, B. Is not even necessary to put that many statues in this screen? There are screen. hundreds of billions of triangles. Clearly. So there's 33 million in one, and you have 300 of them, or 500 of them in here. Yeah. That's a, that's about it. Quite crazy. Like, so think about the games. You have limitless geometry, yeah. and with Luma, you, you have with fully this. dynamic lighting and global illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5. Like, the games that are coming out now that are gonna look beautiful, whether it's Last of Us Part 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Assassin's Creed, Cyberpunk 2077, whatever the, the, the Avengers game, even if you don't like it, it'll probably look beautiful at the very least. This is like the next GTA, like, on these systems, just close your eyes real quick and just think about what that game's gonna look like with these graphics. Like, dog, that's gonna be a beautiful thing. I'm imagining all of it, all right? There's not much time left. And this doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. Okay, this I couldn't forget, of course. This is nice. Portal, it's open. I told you, uh, second half, I didn't really... Don't Actually, it was a little know. more than I thought of, but I was half asleep, like I said. Like, what is this? Who was like in the tech demo? We're gonna have her fly through this beautiful ass world. Bump y'all. Give us the damn design and just put the system out now, why don't you? Also, they should give us this tech demo, quite honestly. Wouldn't y'all wanna play this tech demo? I damn sure would wanna play this tech demo. Flying through the right now. Like, who is she? She got hella powers. They need to make this a game, dog. I hope they lying to us. Going into another round. It's time to see what's next. Come on. Come on. She flew from a temple to the ground and walked through a realm in a world that looked as beautiful and as real as outside almost. Come on now. Come on. Well, it's safe to say that I am excited, y'all, and I don't know what else to tell y'all. Coming 2021, <sighs> sigh. You know, this is going to be crazy. I'm thinking about all the games that we're getting now and what they're going to look like on the systems with those graphics. Again, for the third time, my PC users and players, we know. Y'all ain't wrong. Y'all had this a while ago and i saw battlefront i think or something on it on the pc or something like that it was some star wars game i think it was battlefront and i was like seriously <laughs> and the person who showed me was like yeah so we know y'all got it like that but now the consoles will have it so you know i'm very excited to see go like games especially like ghost of tsushima i can't and assassin's creed just because i mean lazarus 2 too all of them really actually because a lot of, they're all open world with the exception of Last of Us 2, which is not completely open world, but you have your open world aspects. Although it's 100 gigs this time around, so I don't know what they did with the game, but it's going to be a lot to it. But I'm going to catch y'all next time. Tomorrow is going to be lit because we get Ghost of Tsushima gameplay, 18 minutes of it. And you know these games are already coming out on PS5. So I'm going to catch y'all next time. AGP out. Oh,